Hey guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to another video. I am super excited about today's topic because if you can't tell from the title already, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to arrange and how I learned to arrange. Just as a quick warning before we begin, arranging isn't that easy and it will take you a good amount of time. So I'm thinking at the least it'll take you about six months with diligent practicing. And it's very well worth it, guys. It's a lot of fun for me to arrange. I've arranged hundreds of songs and it never gets old. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can get to where I am and some tips and tricks to help you along the way. First, I'm gonna start off by telling you some of my history and how I learned to arrange. As a young guitarist, around nine, I learned all of my basic chords and the next step was to move on to tablature and reading it. So I started off with songs like Scarborough Fair and uh, Green Sleeves, super simple songs, but reading tabs, it helps you warm up to the guitar and it gets you a general feel of the neck. For about two years, I played nothing but tabs. I found some great publishers like uh, Kelly Valu. He has this website where you could become a member and have access to all of his tabs and the tutorials. This was the main method that I used to learn how to play fingerstyle guitar and eventually how I learned to arrange. After playing his tabs one after another, I finally got a grasp on song structure and how he arranged songs. The day I started to arrange was actually really interesting. I was reading Kelly Blue's tabs and I was flipping through them and I got to a certain page and I kept playing. I didn't need to flip the page because I knew what was gonna happen next. I started to arrange the next page of the song. Uh, once I finished the song, my dad thought it was a good idea if I just started my own arrangements. We wouldn't have to pay for membership and you know, it's good for me, right? I thought arranging was so scary. I hated it. I did not want to do it because I'd have to use my brain and actually figure the song out for myself, which was extremely difficult at the time. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, being creative was really hard for me. It was not easy and did not come that natural. So I actually had to learn how to be creative and add my twists and uniqueness to my own arrangements over time. Trust me, it wasn't easy, it was scary, and I did not think I could do it. I just want you guys to know that arranging shouldn't be scary for you at all, and it shouldn't be something that you don't wanna do. You should dive into it, it's a lot of fun, I promise. So today I decided that, as an example song for you guys to arrange, I'm gonna be playing Royals by Lord. I chose this song because it's extremely easy chord-wise, there's only three, and the intro is actually only one chord and then it branches out into three. But I thought it would be a great starter for you guys. So let's get right into it. To start off the arrangement, I suggest you guys find the location of where your capo is gonna go. So every song is in a different key. Well, pop songs nowadays, they're all the same, but they're usually in a different key, which means you have to move your capo around to match it. Let's say the key for Royals is actually up here. Now I'll find that melody and I'll put the capo where I think it should go. And now I can play all these super easy open chords like a D, C, and G, and now it matches the key of the actual song. If you guys don't care about this stuff, don't worry about it. There's actually a ton of ways you can figure this out, and I don't wanna get into the theory right now, so by ear will work. Okay, so the intro starts off with a single D major. And one of the most important things you'll find in arranging is that the melody is not far off. It's always gonna be close or inside of the chord that you're playing. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly that. Now, if you saw that, I barely moved this finger. I moved it up for an open note, that's it. But the chord was held almost the entire time. By the way, to find these chords, I just looked them up online. Or I figured them out by ear. It's not that hard, especially with pop songs. Now that we found the melody, we're gonna find the bass line. And that will usually be the root of the chord. So for the beginning, it starts off with a D. The bass is gonna D. Uh, it's gonna D. It's gonna D. It's gonna be a D. I'm gonna play just the melody and the bass together now. So you can call that a really simple, bare bones arrangement of Royals by Lord. Now there are a lot of things you can do to spice that up. For example, you can add filler and you can add harmonies to it. What I like to do is add a little percussion and I like to strum. So you get a taste of the chord with the melody. So listen, this is just the bare bones arrangement.
And now this is with the percussion and the little strums for the entire chord. Now that's just a technique that you can use because when you s use your snare, your snare, I like to strum at the same time and that gives you the sound of the entire chord, which makes it sound bigger. And for this next part, I just play the entire chord. So instead of a really thin bass and melody, you play the entire chord. And, and give it a little roll for spice. Sounds way better, right? So I was playing percussion as well. The thing about percussion is you wanna get it just in the Goldilocks zone. You don't wanna add too much, you don't wanna add too little. So what I found over my years of experience is that the kicks that you play are very loud and they pick up on mics pretty poorly. And for the snares, they're very ear piercing and they can get annoying after a while. So try to limit it. So instead of going like crazy, like, don't, don't go crazy. There's two and four. Here's another thing that'll bring your arrangements up a level. Add a syncopated bass line. So instead of playing half notes like I was playing, one, two, three, four, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And when you add that in with the melody, it sounds pretty good. While I play this, try to pick out just the bass line. And if you really listen to it, you can hear that the bass line's bouncing along now, instead of just being straight and dull. It's something super simple that you can do that creates more depth in your arrangement. And you especially want to do this with a fingerstyle arrangement because this genre requires you to play multiple parts of the song with, with only one person. So you really want to pull out all the tricks and put everything together, but you don't want to overdo it. I've gotten asked a lot if I know music theory and if you need it to arrange. You don't need any of that stuff. No key or time signatures, no modes, no scales, nothing. All you need is your ears and your fingers. And you don't even need all your fingers. I'd never use this pinky for guitar. I've also been asked if I have perfect pitch, and I do not. I, ha I have relative pitch, but that's it. But I guess you can say my fingers have perfect pitch because they know their way around the guitar neck completely. That's why I can recreate songs on the spot, and it's because of my knowledge of the fretboard. The muscle memory I've gained over the years has also been extremely helpful for arranging because instead of having to I go through the entire guitar neck to find that one melody note, I already know where it is and I can find it easily. Without this, arranging would be such a struggle. I would be looking through the guitar neck to find every single note, but luckily it's something that we can all develop. Once you learn enough songs and read enough tabs, you get a feel for where notes are and it makes everything easier. So what I mean by this is that I really recommend that you guys learn a ton of pieces before you start arranging. Don't try to go diving in for it because it will be very difficult. Also, if you guys are trying to learn guitar quickly, there is this really amazing website called Guitar Tricks. They have hundreds of videos on how to play classical, fingerstyle, uh, learning music theory. Everything you need is there, and I think you guys should go sign up and check it out. You get two weeks free of these tutorials, and to me, that's a win-win. So again, I really hope this video helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.